The Sterling engine has been running for about an hour now. It's nice and cool. Well, here, no, it isn't cool here. Up in here, it's feeling like probably 130, 140 degrees. I'm sure this is. Oh, 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 that's probably, I don't know, four or five hundred degrees down there. Looks like it's running slow right now, but it's actually going about 12, 1100 RPM. This is a, I guess we'd say a three step process. We have a hydrogen torch. Oops, looks like the fire went out on my hydrogen. Ooh, a little back flash. There we go. The hydrogen is burning. Hydrogen burns very hot, so it doesn't take much of a flame to heat the hot end. Move that up just a little bit. Can't get it too close. It'll melt the glass tube. There's a glass tube inside of there. And I have it wrapped with copper. Copper foil conducts better heat. And then we have the next step, which is the fuel cell, which produces the hydrogen. And that is the hydrogen. It's bubbling out. Running right down to the Stirling engine. And that is being powered by a 12 volt battery. Now, how long will the battery be charged? The charger is off at this time. There is no power going into the battery other than the battery itself. <clears throat> so how do we keep that battery charged to keep it producing power so that we can keep producing hydrogen? Maybe we can hook a little generator to this motor. Oh, look, I found a little generator. This generator came out of a hard drive. There are some very powerful magnets there and there, and then there's the copper coil there. Back and forth, and that produces electricity. And we charge the battery with this generator and possibly keep the hog strolling engine running for hours and hours and hours. Let's give it a try.